Hi everyone, welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. This week we're going to be talking about growth mindset. Um, so we'll be able to understand first off the concept of the word mindset, um, be able to learn the difference between growth and fixed mindset, um, being able to also learn some characteristics behind a growth mindset person um, and gaining some tips of how we can develop that growth mindset. So first off, what is mindset? Mindset is a mental attitude that determines how you will interpret and respond to situations. So a lot of times it really depends on how people reflect on certain situations and how they react to certain things um, that pretty much determines what kind of mindset you may have. And sometimes mind mindsets can also have a profound effect on learning, uh, your achievements, your skills, your relationships, and men many other aspects that you have in life. Um, so there are two different kinds of mindsets um, that we will go over today. The first one is growth mindset, and the second one is fixed mindset. So growth mindset are people who believe that their basic abilities and talents can be developed with hard work, with dedication, and with effort. Um, so always having that, you know, idea that you can learn anything that you want to when you set your mind to it. Um, whereas people that have fixed mindsets are tend to believe that their basic abilities and their talents are just fixed traits, meaning that these are just certain skills and talents that they have that they were born with. Um, so people or those that have fixed mindsets tend to think and say, I'm either good at math or I'm not good at it. So it's just having kind of that strict way. So imagine it being like a lock um, where you it's just locked up and that's all you believe there is. Whereas a growth mindset is more like a, like a plant or like a flower that it continues to grow the more you water it. So that's how you would, you know, would want to treat your brain and continue watering it so it gets stronger and grows and you be, tend to, you will eventually have that growth mindset when you get older. Um, so here are some more examples um, of some things that people with the growth mindset may, may say. For example, um, I like to try new things. Challenges help me grow. Um, failure and mistakes are learning opportunities and that you welcome and learn from all feedback, whether it's from your parents, your teachers, or even your siblings or friends. Um, some examples of fixed mindset sayings that people may say is, I'm either good at it or I'm not. I stick to what I know. I don't like to be challenged. Mistakes and failures are bad, so I ignore them. And I ignore useful feedback from other people. So it's just two different things. Again, um, two mindsets, growth and fixed mindsets. So here are just some characteristics um, which are just unique um, traits that a growth mindset person may have. So if you believe to be someone that has perseverance, that you keep trying and you never give up, and even if it keeps spelling, you just keep going over and over and trying the best um, that you can, that is a perseverance. Um, the desire to continue learning, being able to continue to ask questions, um, seeking help, and wanting to learn more rather than just giving up. Um, being goal-driven, um, which means that you create SMART goals, whether they're short or long, you create them and you achieve them. Being able to take on challenges, um, such as doing that extra credit that your teacher gives you um, and having that just do it attitude where you just do it and set your mind to it instead of not doing it. Um, and also just having that positive self-talk. So being positive and optimistic about anything that comes your way um, and saying those positive things to yourself, like I am smart and I will achieve my goals. So here are some ways on how you can develop a growth mindset. Some of these, there are many other tips, but ones that I really believe could help you develop these, um, this mindset is being able to focus on your effort and being persistent, um, being able to seek those challenges. Like I said, being able to go the extra mile and do the extra credit and, you know, challenge yourself. If something is too easy, try something harder and keep working and then eventually you'll get better and do things that, you know, you never thought you could do. 
Um, also being able to focus on certain strategies that are working and not working. Think about maybe your setup at home. Like, do you like working in a place that's quiet or do you like working better when there's some background noise or you need some music or like, you know, people talking, you need some type of sound or do you need it to be just super quiet? These are just certain things that you can reflect on and eventually learn on what kind of student you are and what works for you and what doesn't. Um, and also just being able to continue working hard, working hard, trying your best, um, and focusing on learning and improving everything that you do. Um, we're all human and we are not perfect. So we learn from our mistakes. We learn how to grow and just continue to water your brain, like if it's a plant or a flower, so we can see it grow. And by the time, you know, you graduate middle school and move on to high school and go to college and become a, an adult, um, you'll be able to be able to apply these things that you're learning now and continue to have that mindset and have a strong brain. Um, until then, that pretty much concludes today's mini lesson of what growth mindset is and how to, you know, start practicing and developing that mindset. Um, but I will see you guys next week for a new Wellness Wednesday video, and we'll continue learning more about growth mindset um, and how we can apply them in our learning. Bye, everyone.